My name is Brent Stabener and I'm a consultant with Logan Consulting. In today's video, I will be showing you how to print the batch edit list in Dynamics GP. Any Dynamics GP user has had issues with posting batches at some point or another. There is a plethora of reasons that a batch would fail to post, including posting to a closed period, debits and credits not equaling each other, and the distribution amount not equaling the actual amount. If a user tries to post a batch that contains any of those errors, the user will receive an error that relates to the cause of it. Regardless of the error, the result will be that the batch must be recovered in batch recovery. So let me pull up a batch that I know has an error. Let's go to financial, batches, and this one right here has an error that I know. So I go to post it and look at the posting journal. Here is the posting journal. And you can see the error right here. Sorry, cannot post to a closed period. Exit out of there. And if we go to the GP menu, tools, routines, batch recovery. Here we see that one batch with a status of transaction error edit required. So select the batch and click continue to bring the batch out of batch recovery. At this point, the batch is not ready to post, but recovering it allows a user to edit it. So at this point, we're not 100% sure what's causing it. If we, didn't, if we didn't see that posting journal before, we wouldn't know what's causing it. Uh, sometimes that'll happen where you get a batch in batch recovery and you have no idea how it got there. So in order to determine what might cause it, such as debit, it's not equaling credits, we can print what's called a batch edit list report. This report will show us any errors that may come up in posting prior to even posting it. The error will specifically describe what needs to be fixed and you can then print it again and make sure that the error went away after fi fixing. So to print the batch edit report, go to the batch entry screen of the relevant module. So I will pull it up here in financial and I will click the print button right here. Print that to your screen. And I have it in a Word document right here. And as you can see, it, just like the posting journal, it says, sorry, cannot post to a closed period. As you can see, the transaction date is 12-3-2017, and December is, of 2017 is closed. Um, if, there was an end, if there was an error for the entire batch, if the batch had a posting date that was posting to a closed period, that would show up towards the top of the report. So after you've printed to that screen, we'll, after we see the error message, let's go ahead and fix it. So I'll close out of here, go to transactions, select that one, and let's change it to today's date of this video, which is 04-24-2017. I'll go ahead and save it. Oh, pull up the batch again click post and as we see now there is no error message for more information please visit our website at www.loganconsulting.com or contact us via email at info@loganconsulting.com at or via phone at 312-345-8800